So my name's Dale, I'm 31, I'm from the Gold Coast and I'm a porn star. And a question I get asked a lot is how do I get in the industry? Uh, and it's a funny one, I started in 2012 doing professional porn in Melbourne. Um, it started from me being a bouncer, some girls came up for a calendar launch and one of them wanted to take me home that night while I wanted to take her home. And she was leaving, she was trying to call me over to get, uh, get my phone number and um, exchange details, whatever. But as she was leaving, we were doing the, um, uh, the lockout where the people can't come back in. And my manager was there, the owner of the uh, hotel was there, uh, the general manager of the pub was there. I, there was nothing I could do, I, w I wasn't allowed to go um, see her give, give her my details. So um, basically I had to search on Facebook the next day, see if I could find her contact details and there was nothing there when I seen that. Fast forward six months, I decided I want to do porn. So I'm like, fuck, who do I know who does porn? Okay, this girl I met at the pub. Um, so okay, I look at her page and I find an email there. And I give her an email and say, hey, how are you going? Do you remember me? Um, you know, I want to take you home that night. Look, I'm looking to do porn. Can you point me in the right direction? So she goes, yep, I remember you. Uh, I've been doing girl and girl porn. Would you like to be my first boy? I said, fuck yes, I do. Um, so then I got in contact with the uh, production company down in Melbourne and I flew down there, did my first porn scene with a, a, another girl um, for a bit of practice. And then I did that scene with this particular girl. And um, that was it, the money wasn't worth it back then, so I didn't keep doing it. It was, um, had to go down on the weekend, the pay rate was really low, so that was the end of my porn career. Fast forward to me getting out of jail, um, for the first year or so out, uh, I wasn't really sure what to do, I tried a few different things, they weren't working out. I was dead broke, I didn't know what to do, um, so I thought, fuck it, I'm going to try OnlyFans. I had a, um, a friend of mine was doing it, he helped push me into it, um, then there was a, a, another friend of mine, I was doing, I was doing it, and, um, and and was in the industry, and she pushed me into it as well. Um, so yeah, I made a page, went from there. Um, the first month I made uh, twenty four dollars. The next month I made ninety nine dollars. I made fuck all when I started. Um, but how did I start OnlyFans? Look, I, I made it, I made a fresh Instagram page. I chose a name, uh, so I had zero followers. Put it on private. Uh, I made an OnlyFans page, went for all the verification stuff. And I started uploading just photos of myself, um, videos of myself. Uh, and then I started reaching out to girls I knew in my personal life that were also doing um, OnlyFans. And I said, well, do you wanna make a fucking video with me? And uh, they said yes, and I made a couple of videos with them. Um, yeah, my, sl my start was very slow. Um, you know, on Instagram, I had to follow people to get them to follow me back. And that's a very, very slow process. Um, so I wasn't really working out, but I was putting myself out there. I was reaching out to people. Uh, I was conducting myself as much as I could as a professional. Um, and then one day I got in contact with um, uh, Robbie Oz. Um, we contacted each other kind of over OnlyFans and for Instagram. And he put up a story one day. This is a, a bit of a story. One of the most fucking outrageous fucking things I've done, I think. Um, the story was I need more guys for a uh, shoot I'm doing tomorrow. Um, inbox, inbox me. So inbox me. I said, hey mate, um, you know, I'm really looking to put myself out there. Uh, wh what's the shoot for? Like, I'm interested. He goes, fuck, I don't know if you're going to be interested in this. My heart started racing. I'm like, fuck me. I'm like, what, what the fuck is this shoot going to be? And he goes, it's a gangbang. I'm like, fuck. You know, like, I've never even done two guys and, and one girl, like, before I freeze them. Um, in that sense. And I thought, fuck, how the fuck am I going to do a gangbang? Uh, you know, I might fuck it, you know what, I'm not going to say no to it, I really want this, I'm going to fucking do it. So, um, I said yes to it, it was in the following week, I went to the apartment, uh, I didn't know a single person there, so there was four, four guys, one girl, there was a videographer, and yeah, I didn't know a single person, I walked in, I'm, uh, I'm greeted by a guy named Jesse, he's wearing a robe, holding a wine, cool as fuck, one of the coolest guys you can meet, and um, yeah, and all the guys were friendly, the girl was lovely, uh, it was all very professional and fun. Uh, it was a very good experience for me, a very, very good experience. Um, now, <laughs> they, uh, Robbie and, and the female involved, Kat, they, um, they went downstairs to do the role play part of the scene. And while they were downstairs, they just so happened to see a swinging couple friend of theirs. And they said, hey, why don't you come up and watch? Like, fuck me, I've already just got to do a gangbang in front of all these people. I, like, I don't fucking know. Now I've got this random fucking swinger couple watching me. I'm like, fuck me. 
what I got myself into here. Um, but again, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So, um, <laughs> so we've started doing it and I think to begin with, like I had a Viagra as well. Um, to begin with, I think I got like maybe three quarters hard, something like that. Um, and that was it, it wouldn't go any more than the three quarters and I went down to half and then it was a struggle from there. I just, did I perform? No, I fucking did not perform at all, I was shit. Um, but I put myself out there, I did it. I did the biggest possible scene you can think of to begin my OnlyFans career pretty much. Uh, and then from then on, every threesome I did after that and foursome and orgy and all these other things I've done were a piece of cake. I just nailed the hardest one off the list, so um, <laughs> it made things a bit easier for me. After that fucking like orbacle, like it was intense. Um, yeah, I just continued my OnlyFans career um, through Robbie, like God bless him, he um, uh, invited me to a few content days and stuff and that really helped me get my foot in the door and I learned quite a bit from going to these content days, quite a bit of him. Uh, and that is one thing I will suggest, if you are going to do OnlyFans and if you are going to be a full porn star on there and go with all the sex, um, I do suggest you collaborate. Um, if it's within your own boundaries, because this is where you're gonna learn how to set your page up, this is how you're gonna learn how to actually be professional and do the right things like consent forms and testing and um, all the things you're meant to be doing that otherwise you would not know. Uh, it's also great for networking. Um, you know, you go on each other's Instagram pages, people see you, you see them, etc., etc. Um, so it's a big thing. Collaborating is one of the biggest things, but uh, don't be fooled. If you're gonna be a fuckwit, if you're gonna be unprofessional, um, if you're gonna do this just because you wanna get your fucking dick wet, um, then you're not gonna get far at all. Uh, you, you'll be seen through within five seconds and you'll be done. Uh, and you won't make it. And I'll tell you now, anybody can do OnlyFans, anybody can make a couple dollars, but to make the really good money, you have to be professional, you have to put the work in. You can't just have sex on camera. Anybody can go to their bedroom and film, a, uh, film a fuck video. That's fucking easy. That is the easy part of doing OnlyFans. The hard part is the, um, uh, the, the promotion, the marketing, um, the networking, um, you know, and, and that stuff is hours and hours and hours of work. Um, so don't be fooled into thinking that, you know, you can create an OnlyFans page and make fucking bank just because you can fuck good. No. That ain't it. So a common issue that a lot of people have uh, doing OnlyFans and starting a page, including I have the same issue, is you start a page and you don't make fuck all when you start, um, which a lot of you, if you want to make a page, will go through. But the thing is, you can't be discouraged by um, you know making that low money to begin with. You, you have to see your progression. You have to fight for it. Like subscribers aren't just going to find you and come. You have to make them find you. You got to put yourself out there. You, you got to be seen. Um, and that is the biggest tip I'll give you, find your audience. Um, you know, promoting on your Instagram page of 5,000 followers, it's not gonna do it. That's an audience of 5,000 people every time. The audience doesn't get any bigger, so you gotta find it. Before I made good money on OnlyFans, it was probably about six months of being on there. Um, and then from my own hard work and, um, and putting things out there and putting myself out there, I found my groove and I found my niche. And that's one thing you need to find your niche. Um, and I don't talk about the exact figures I've made. Um, some figures have gone in the newspaper, um, people have made their own assumptions, but um, you know, I've done well, but I keep that exact figure private. And that's something I would recommend too. Um, you don't need to go telling everyone what you're making, just keep it to yourself. It's funny, um, before doing OnlyFans, I'd never done like a threesome of two guys and one girl. I'd never done a foursome, a fivesome, I've never done a gangbang, never done an orgy. And now I've done those things so many times now that, um, you know, it's, it's one thing OnlyFans can give you if you go down that path is a lot of um, sexual experience, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a bonus. So I'm grateful for it. Um, you, you know, it's been able to develop me more as a sexual person. I'm much better and more confident in bed now because of it, uh, much, more, much more confident in myself. And you know, and you could get there too. You just gotta make sure you are comfortable doing what you're doing. Um, like, don't throw yourself into a gangbang scene if you think you're only gonna do this for a couple months as well. Because at the end of the day, um, this stuff can stick with you. If you're gonna do it, make sure you want to do it. Um, believe, believe me. Like, 
say for instance, if you're a male and, and you want to do OnlyFans, one of the biggest sacrifices will be women, not many women will want to date you. I won't say no, no women will, but the, um, all of a sudden your pool of women who want to date you go from here to here. And that is a big sacrifice. Um, so be prepared for that. So I'll give you another funny story. Um, the second gangbang I've done, I was in the Sunshine Coast and, um, and we we're on a bit of a, um, a bit of hinterland. So there's a bit, you know, a bit of farms around trackers and, and whatever. And we've gone in a van, uh, we've, done a, we've picked up a hitchhiker. Um, there's five of us guys, but only three of us participated in the actual gangbang. And um, we started in the van um, while we're driving, then we pulled over on the side of the road, it's a dirt track, and we've um, you know, kept going in the van for a little bit, and then we decided, okay, well, let's get outside the van uh, at the back, and let's do, you know, do the gangbang outside. Sweet, mad, good fun. All of a sudden, you wouldn't fucking believe it, a tractor fucking drives past. But obviously a tractor, they can't drive fast. This guy's probably going like five, 10 k's an hour, and here we are, fucking gangbanging uh, a girl on the side of the fucking road. Um, it was the funniest fucking thing I cannot tell you. This guy would not look at us. Uh, one of the boys said, oh, day for it, mate. Um, yeah, it was fucking hilarious. I, I still, to this day, cannot believe that a tractor drove past while we gangbanged somebody. Oh, that's fucking unreal. But all in all, I fucking love what I do. I'm very grateful. Um, my life is fucking blessed now. I'm over the moon. Um, if you want to watch my videos, go sign up to my OnlyFans. Um, you know, go, go on my link. It'll be down below. And uh, if you've got any questions, fucking write them in. Give me a comment um, and I'll get to them.